Once your drawing is ready to export, tap on the export button on the top right corner and you'll be presented with a few settings to choose from. First, select your desired file format. JPEG is a standard lossy raster format, favored for its small file sizes and fast loading. With the screenshot option, anything you have within the current boundaries of the screen will be included. Entire drawing includes everything on canvas, including beyond the current boundaries of your screen. If you want to export a specific size or aspect ratio, you'll need to create an artboard from the workspace settings first. If you open the export menu again, your custom size will be included as a third option. The background can be set to either plain white or paper, which reflects the current color or texture of your canvas. Additionally, you can include the current grid in your export. Setting a grid also happens via the workspace settings. Measurements are included whenever they're visible on the canvas. The last section lets you control the scale of your image. The resolution and density values are displayed over here. As Concepts is based on vector graphics, you also have the option to upscale your image up to 400%. Once you're done setting up, tap Share, or the Export button depending on which platform you're on, and you'll be presented with export destinations to choose from. On Android, there's also a Save option that allows you to navigate the internal file system directly. Now let me walk through the other available formats. PNG is a lossless raster format, ideal for high-resolution images, but file sizes may be larger compared to JPEGs. The settings are the same, except that with PNGs, you have the option to export with a transparent background. SVG is a vector format that includes point data and colors, but is limited to a single line weight per stroke. Most concepts' brush dynamics aren't supported, and mask strokes will display as white lines when imported to other vector apps like Adobe Illustrator. To avoid that, use the Slice tool instead of masking. Filters are SVG's way of using textures. You can activate this in an attempt to bring them over to another app, but each app handles these differently, so results may vary. DXF is a vector format as well, supported by most CAD apps. Line work is transferred to wireframes with basic color representation, and mask strokes will display as white lines again. The PSD format has the same region options as JPEG and PNG, but it retains the layer structure of your drawing. You can choose to include all layers, or only the visible ones for post-processing in apps like Adobe Photoshop. The native concepts format is handy for saving iterations of your drawing, or sharing your work with others. Currently, there are two native file types, .concept for iOS and .concepts for Windows and Android. These two are not compatible with each other yet, but we're working on unifying them into a single file format. Finally, we have two PDF formats, flattened and vector. We made a separate video about those, so make sure to check out that one for more details but it's worth noting that most basic pen tools retain their dynamics when exported as a vector PDF.